Hello and welcome back to another QGIS tutorial. Here I will be buffering a stream alignment or simply you can say creating a stream proximity map or a distance from river or distance from stream map. You can practice with the video by downloading the DEM linked in the description as well. In this tutorial, first we will generate a stream from DEM and then we will prepare a complete stream proximity map or distance from river or distance from stream map. So let's get started. First, load the DEM from which we want to create a stream uh, or river network. To add the DEM, go to layer, add layer, add raster layer, and then select the DEM file you want to add, and that's it. Now, let's check the source of the DEM. For that, right click on the DEM, go to properties, and source. Here we can see that the data is in projected coordinate system. If your DEM is not in pro projected coordinate system, you should convert it to projected coordinate system before proceeding to the next step. Here, as, we are, as our data is ready for the analysis, let's proceed our project. Now we will be needing a processing toolbox. We can find from uh, here, go to view and then go to panel. After that, select the processing toolbox. You may have the processing toolbox in by default also. Further to that, we will use Saga to fill the sink in the added DEM. To, go, to do so, navigate to Saga and select Terrain Analysis Hydrology. Then open Fill Sink Wang and Liu. Here, this window will appear. Select the recently added DEM from which we want to create a stream or stream map. Save the field DEM to the location of your choice. To do so, go here and select Save to File. And then navigate to the location where you want to save your field DEM. Enter a name and then click Save. After that, uncheck both the flow direction and the water basin because we don't want them right now. Now press the run button. It could be a while depending on the size of the DEM. So friend, we can see the filled DEM after this step. So after filling the sink for the stream, navigate to Saga and then go to Terrain Analysis. Then select Channel Network and Drainage Basin. Select the file on the elevation that is filled DEM. In threshold, I will increase the value to 7. Here, the higher value results only major stream and lower value usage includes minor stream also. You can adjust the value by trying different value unless you get the desired result. So, except for the channel, uncheck flow direction, uncheck flow connectivity, uncheck strala order, uncheck drainage basin and junction also because we don't want any of this analysis right now but remember to check the channels after that save the channel data by clicking here and then on save to file after we have found your destination location give the file a name and save it like this after that press run it may take some time So here, after deriving the streams from DEM, let's buffer the stream. There are several tools and methods to buffer the save file in QGIS. Here, we will be using Fixed Distance Buffer from uh, Saga. In this tool, you can buffer the stream into several buffer zones constantly with a single step. You can buffer one by one with the buffer tool found in Vector geoprocessing tool and then click here so uh, but for now we will be using saga for that go to saga vector general and finally fixed distance buffer here this window will appear in shapes input the recently derived channel for inputting in buffer distance and buffer zone, you should have a clear concept in this. Suppose you want to buffer a stream with the distance of 100 meter 
and you want to buffer it up to 500 meter with five numbers of buffer zone fill the uh, fill the buffer distance with 500 meter and fill the number with buffer zone of 25 okay now check on dissolve buffer as well and after that hit run it may take some decent time it depends upon the uh, resolution of the DEM it depends upon the size of the DEM or you can say it depends upon the spatial area of the DEM or the total area coverage here after this we can see the buffer zone divided with 5 unit of buffer area with 100 meter equally now right click on the recently generated buffer file and go to attribute table click here to toggle editing on after this give the actual distance by clicking here here we can see the innermost buffer zone with 100 meter width so let me type 100 after that give the distance uh, to remaining four buffer zone also okay you can give 200 you can give uh, 300 you can give 400 and you can give 500 so after this deselect all the feature by clicking here and close the attribute table but don't forget to turn off the toggle editing also so now let's give a unique color representation for each buffer zone for that go to properties symbology and change this to categorize after this change to zone and then hit classify over here and click ok here we can see the buffer zone with different color and legend now here let's give the legend with 100 meter to 500 meter so that's it friend uh, now further you can prepare a proper layout map to export the image file if you want the image file use uh, to use in presentation or in report so for this select project and then go to new go to the new print layout here you can give it a name i will type buffer stream click ok this new print layout window will pop up now go to add item select add map and left click and hold the click on the top le left corner and move the cursor to the bottom right corner and then release the click we will get this map here first determine the extent size of the map layout we can see uh, we can select and move the whole item by clicking here uh, let me fix it to this size after this let's fix the uh, fix the item to the map by fixing the scale of the map so go to item properties and on scale type the matching one the the less value means we will zoom the map you may try multiple time to find the perfect scale after this if you click over here you can move the map only here let me move the map to the perfect location now let's add north arrow go to add item and click on the north arrow after that uh, to your preferred location left click and hold and drag on either side according to the preferred size of the north arrow for scale go to add item and select bar sorry select scale bar and repeat the same process for release end go to add item and then select the uh, release end here we have unnecessary release end also so uh, modify is the need here select the release end in the item 
and in item property scroll a bit down and you will find a legend item uncheck on auto update here now remove the unnecessary legend for this hold control and select all the items except the channels sorry except the buffer uh, data channel and click here in red minus sign you can change the name to your preferred one from here just double click i will be typing distance from stream so now let us use a grid also for this select map in the item scroll down and you will find a grid uh, you will find a grid then click on grids here after that click on green plus button here and on grid one select a modify grid here in the interval give the value on x and y at least divisible by 20 of scale value to know the scale value go back and scroll up here in the main properties you can see the value here so back to grid here in x value give the value divisible by 20 of the scale value and same in the y value you can change the value here like this let me put 1000 on x and 1000 on y or you can or i can change the value also that was just an example and you will notice the gapping of x and y in the image here it depends upon your reference after this scroll down and find the draw code find the draw coordinate and check on draw coordinate here we can see horizontal coordinate taking a lot of space on the both left and right part so let us change the uh, change them into vertical for this go to the left in and in horizontal select vertical ascending and again go to the right and in horizontal select vertical ascending after this we are ready to extract the image for this go to layout and uh, select export as an image and select the destination and give the name after giving the name click on save now this window will appear and in export option uh, give export resolution here i will keep uh, 300 dpi as default as 300 is a decent dpi for a good quality image you can increase the dpi for more good quality image or you can decrease the dpi here the dpi uh, number also uh, gives result to the size of the file the less dpi means less uh, small size file okay after that click on save here we are done here we can see the saved image so friend that's it i hope you enjoyed the video please like share and subscribe the channel uh, your support means a lot to us and don't forget to comment if you have any sort of confusion thank you happy learning